Today we're testing out the Apple Vision Pro without any hands. Let's see how accessible this thing is. So what are your thoughts? Do you think it's totally accessible right now? Millions and millions of people with disabilities that use it and be somewhere where they never might never be. Yeah. What is that thing? Oh, that's the accessibility. Noah. Since we first recorded this video, I've been in contact with Apple and I noticed a few things. We missed a certain button tap and so we missed that. And hopefully Apple fixes this in the future and makes it more intuitive so nobody else misses it. But unfortunately at this time during setup, someone does need to be there with you to tap the button. Hopefully I'll be able to work with Apple to make this simpler so they understand that people with disabilities don't always have someone around them. I know Apple will make it right because they've been doing it right forever. You ready? <laughs> I've been waiting all day for this. I've been waiting weeks, months. Do you think you can put it on by yourself? I don't know. I think my greasy ass face will... Am I allowed to say greasy ass? You can say whatever. <laughs> I think my face will smudge the lenses. So put it on me and let me try to see if I can take it off. Okay. I did it. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs> Alright, it says... Press and hold to align. Press this button. How close am I to this button? Oh, uh, you're not very close. Can I use my foot? Where is it? This is not going so good. When they announced this, I emailed Tim Cook immediately asking about being able to use it without hand. And he forwarded the email to the Apple accessibility team. They assured me that I could use just my voice, a dominant eye, and be able to tap and do that stuff. But if you could see the screen, it says press and hold this button that I can't reach to align. Which a lot of people wouldn't be able to reach if they can't bring their arms above their shoulders. Yeah, there's people that have mobility disability. They have hands and arms that can't lift, you know, they might have they might have had a stroke or something. I think if they would have put it right here, it would have been a lot easier. Dude, anybody could touch. They could touch it with their shoulder. Right. Press right. and hold? Yeah. Whoa. It says the apple and then it says hello written out. That's so cool. Okay. Press digital crown to begin. Well. Oh, hold on. Let me press it. Oh, uh, yeah. Bring iPhone or iPad near to get started. Oh, I can do that. Okay, don't let anybody see my password. Your eyes and hands are how you your, navigate Apple Vision Pro. Your eyes and hands are how you navig navigate Apple Vision Pro. To scroll, pinch your fingers together and gently flick. Okay, press the digital crown to set up your eyes and hands. Triple click top button for accessibility options. Okay, so. so Let's triple click it. You triple click it for me. Okay, accessibility options is only voiceover. Sick. If you're familiar with voiceover, pinch and hold your middle finger. Yeah, I'll show you my middle finger. Okay, press the digital crown to set up your eyes and hands. Press that for me, please, sir. I'll just have somebody, like, be around me all the time. Look at your hands to set up. <laughs> so what do we do? What if you couldn't what lift if, your hands up? Yeah, what, okay, how about this? Just, let's just get it set up and get past this point of no return. <laughs> you sit behind me and put your hand, I, put your hands in front of me, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this. Introduce me to the video so they don't This is my son, Noah, and uh, he's my right hand man. <laughs> click, triple click top button for accessibility options. Let's just see if, if it's anything more than voiceover. VoiceOver speaks descriptions of items in Apple Vision Pro. To learn more about VoiceOver, to turn off VoiceOver, press the digital crown. So this is all the accessibility I get at this point. Press it. Let's look at your hands. This is frustrating. Good thing it wasn't like $3,500. <laughs> if this was your UI, you worked for Apple, what would you do to help everybody? Be How about able this? Ready? Look, instead of triple click top button for accessibility options, I would actually have accessibility options in there. But what I would do is look down and hold your chin down for three seconds to access accessibility options. 
so you're not making anybody tap on anything, right? Look down for three seconds to access the accessibility options. That's really smart. What would you have done for like the hand scan? Like, Do you not have hands? Can you not control your hands? Look down for accessibility options. Yeah. I go to a job all day long and I don't get any help. So does Apple think that people with disabilities just have people with them all the time? But anyways, let's get past this. I need you to pinch your fingers to... Okay, I got you. Ready? Yeah. Got it. All set? Yep. Okay, I'll leave. I can understand this part. Maybe you need some help holding it out in front of you, right? Yeah, this That's is... That's cool. Makes sense. It's green. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now, slowly turn your head to the left. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Capture complete. Capture complete. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. Call in the guy with the arms. It looks like me. It's an older version of me, probably because of the shadows. Okay, tap. Create a passcode. Oh, great. Tap. Okay. 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 I think I just agreed to give you to Apple. <laughs> <laughs> this is my firstborn son, so that's a joke. Yeah. This is the first Apple device I've ever bought that I couldn't use on my own. Pinch the window bar to move apps. Yeah, that's cool. If I could do that, that'd be really cool. What would you do if you designed that? If I did that, I would look at the window corner and then maybe blink one eye and then pull. So an attitude. You sound a little agitated. <laughs> sorry. I, that's, I'm just sorry. Okay, I'm not agitated. It's fair Next. if you are. I would be too, but... I mean, these things weren't free. No, they okay. should be for Next. all the ideas that you're about to give them. Welcome. Press digital crown to open home. So you have to press this button every time? Man, if that button was right here. Yeah. So let's go. Settings? Check out the accessibility settings. Mm -hmm. If only these accessibility settings were available during setup. There's like something that says eyes and hands. That's not an accessibility. Go up. Okay. Both hands, right hand, left hand. There's no option for no hand. Okay, go back. Accessibility? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Voice over, zoom, display and text size, motion, spoken content, eye input, both eyes, left eye, right eye. Okay, this, this is for someone that maybe is, you know, one eye or an eye that's slower. So you would select your dominant eye. Makes sense. Ooh, voice control. What? Set up voice control. If only this was on the first screen. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this, guys. So what can you do? What yeah, can I say? You can ask Siri to turn your voice control on and say, hey, Siri, turn on voice control and say anytime, say, show me what to say. I wonder if I could have said that. No, there's no way. System commands, uh, open application, close, open, go home, go back. Can you scroll up? Um, show grid, tap number. Whoa, look at that. See that? Show grid. We're getting somewhere. You're going to have to like study these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a, no manual. So you can say tap? Tap done. Yeah. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I can get out of the frame now. Yeah, thank God. Any ideas for the scrolling that you would maybe change or do different? Mm, I kind of like it. Tap accessibility shortcut. <laughs> Triple click the digital crown for these things. Guys, people can't click the triple click the crown. People, I can't even reach the crown. Tap sound recognition. Oh, this is cool. This is like, if something's happening, like sirens, and you can't hear it, it would display something on the screen, like there's an emergency, there's fire. You can tap that bar on the bottom and then like move it over here, but I can't do it. I mean, it's sure you can do it. So it seems like Apple has some really cool accessibility features built in, but unfortunately, there's only one accessibility feature you can access when you're setting it up, and that's voiceover, which is great for people that you know are, have visual impairments or dyslexia and they would read what's on the screen. But for me, I can't tap anything or reach the crown, so I can't get to these settings until I set up my entire profile. Very frustrating, Apple. Yeah. What is that thing? Oh, that's the accessibility. Noah. 
should be way easier to get into that. Why would you have to tap this, tap this? We found the accessibility button, yeah, which is pretty familiar with you. Yeah, I use you that. have it on the iPhone. I, I use this accessible. This is assistive touch button. When you open it, tap, tap. You have these custom things you can put in here, which is super amazing. Like, what do you have? Custom, tap. So I can like set up things. These are the these are ones from my phone, by the way. This is crazy. Tap, tap. This is so amazing. So you can turn the crown clockwise, turn the crown counterclockwise, tap the digital crown, which is great because I can't reach it. <laughs> top button. I don't know what the top button is. Oh, is that this button? Yeah, I think so. Go back. Tap. That went back. So that's pretty cool. Tap. I like that they included this. I wish that during setup you would be able to get to this yes. function. Yes. If this was, don't triple click. Literally, Apple add this. And you can just send me an Apple Vision Pro for giving you this idea. Just look down for three seconds and then it doesn't, no tapping of the digital crown. You just look down for three seconds and then, and then maybe this would come up or other accessibility options. Just thinking would be so much easier. Like what if I'm somewhere and I don't want to be like yelling, cup, cup, jeez. All these rhinos are right here. So glad I'm able to use it. So what are your thoughts? Do you think it's totally accessible right now? Or do you think it still has a lot of work to do? I think with a little bit of work, this could be super, super accessible. I feel like I'm so excited to use this. This is the main reason I'm so excited to use this. I was just watching a video where I was on a field with kids running around. Like I've never been able to run in my life. And there's the kids running around me. And then I was on a baseball. I was at Fenway Park on the field. Like, I felt like I was part of the game. That's why I want this. And that's why I want millions and millions of people with disabilities and other people without disabilities, but millions and millions of people with disabilities that use it and be somewhere where they never might never be. That's why I love this. And that's why I was so excited to get it. And Apple, you're so close. Let's work together. I'll help you. I just want this to be accessible for everybody. Equally accessible for everybody. <laughs> I want this to be equally accessible for everybody. In fact, I have a company. It's called Equal Accessibility. My son and I, you met him, Mr. Hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we have a company together. We do accessibility evaluations, and we work with uh, products and software to make things fully inclusive. Not just accessible, inclusive for everybody. Inclusivity over everything. If you want to see more accessibility tech reviews, follow our channel, Equal Accessibility. Thanks for watching. Peace.